My name's Danny Holland. My wife and I own um, Chesapeake Bay Farms, Chesapeake Bay Dairy. I'm looking about 70 cows, farming 220 acres. We're open every day in the summer, in the season, like basically the tourist season, May um, Memorial through Labor Day, and then we go to like four days a week in the off season, um, selling milk, um, cheese, butter, ice cream, um, our own beef, also some pork, which I don't raise, but I buy locally, and um, seafood at Berlin, but not, not in Pokemon. We use our own milk, we separate our own cream, we don't buy um, anything in the dairy side outside products, we don't bring them mix, um, and we buy the, the highest quality ingredients you know we can find and still be somewhat economical and add to our product right here in the plant. Well at first we shipped milk off and had it made into cheese ice cream, now we do it here with grade A milk, all our products are grade A certified. So um, all our products are, originate from that source, from the cows here. Local is big, obviously across the country, local is getting bigger and bigger. Um, locally produced products, um, especially around here, because it's not like Lancaster, Pennsylvania, there's just no dairies at all. Um, we don't have any for like 150 miles south of us and 60 miles north of us, maybe. So we're down here by ourselves. I have a nutrient management plan, um, I raise but corn, soybeans, and occasionally wheat. I didn't do any wheat this year or any soybeans just because of the weather. I ended up planting all corn. It was the first time I've ever done that. We f try to feed as much as we can here. Um, I, I buy outside minerals and outside soybean meal and that type of thing. But a lot of most of the stuff I raise here, are, you know, I do a lot of grazing, a lot of grass, 100 acres in the winter. Um, we do rye. We're luckily we're far enough south. I can usually get a pretty good rye crop. Um, and then I have year-round pasture. Um, there's a few weeks here you're covered in snow or it's just too much, like last year, it's just too much rain, everything's underwater. But generally other than that, they usually can get out and eat grass every day, some either rye or um, pasture. On the, the retail, I try to use as much local, I get local honey, um, you know, Maryland produced um, preserves, jams, vegetables, canned, all that type of thing. I try to use as local as possible. Just in the um, some of the restaurants I deal with, the, that's their whole marketing scheme is locally produced food that they they serve in their restaurants yes yeah, it's, def, it's definitely grown i'm a lot it's notion city area I'm around the, you know the beaches chincoteague all up and down the local, local is a big thing obviously i can't compete with the big box stores on price because it's just you know the economies of scale but um yeah we try to get as much local stuff as we can and you know most of the time it's pretty reasonable and people buy it use as much stuff in maryland as i can I, you know it, it helps that's why I think our ice cream stands up. It's because it's really made here. It's not a mix brought off a shelf somewhere out of Pennsylvania. It's actually made here from get-go, from start to finish.